Richard Lander. Richard Lemon Lander, February 8, 1804, February 6, 1834, was an English explorer of Western Africa. He and his brother were the first Europeans to follow the course of the River Niger, and discover that it led to the Atlantic. Biography Lander was the son of a Truro innkeeper, born in the Fighting Cocks Inn, later the Dolphin Inn, and given some education in Coombe Plain. At the age of 13, 1817, he accompanied a merchant to the West Indies, where he suffered an attack of malaria in San Domingo which built his resistance to the disease for later in Africa. Returning home in 1818, he gained employment as a servant to several wealthy London families with whom he traveled in Europe. Lander's explorations began as a servant to the Scottish explorer Hugh Clapperton with whom he went in 1823 to the Cape Colony, and then on to an expedition to Western Africa in 1825. Clapperton died on April 13, 1827 near Sokoto, in present-day Nigeria, leaving Lander as the only surviving European member of the expedition. He proceeded southeast to Kano before returning through the Yoruba region to the coast in Britain in July 1828. Commissioned by the British government, Lander returned to West Africa in 1830, accompanied by his brother John. They landed at Badagry on March 22, 1830 and followed the lower river Niger from Busa to the sea. After exploring about 160 kilometers of the river Niger upstream, they returned to explore by canoe the river Benue and Niger Delta. In the delta they were kidnapped by the locals at Igbo Ora, and a large ransom was demanded by the local king and paid. Despite this they were successful in solving the Great River's course and termination. They traveled back to Britain from Fernando Po via Rio de Janeiro in 1831. In 1832, Lander returned to Africa for a third and final time, as leader of an expedition organized by McGregor Laird and other Liverpudlian merchants, with the intention of founding a trading settlement at the junction of the Niger and Benue rivers, using two armed steamers the Cora and the Alburca. However, the expedition encountered difficulties. Many personnel died from fever and it failed to reach Busa. While journeying upstream in a canoe, Lander was attacked by local people and wounded by a musket ball deep in his thigh. He managed to return to the coast, but died there from his injuries. The bullet being too deep to remove, gangrene set in. He was buried in the Clarence Cemetery in Fernando Po. He was survived by his wife and daughter. According to a documents in the John Holt Papers in the Bodalian Library, MSS ARS 1525 Box 11 Folder 3P8, the musket ball is in the Rotunda Museum of Artillery at Woolwich, Object Class 30 No. 172 presented by Carl Nichols R.M. at whose house Lander died. Legacy In Truro, a monument to his memory by English sculptor Neville Northy Bernard stands at the top of Lemon Street and Richard Lander School is named in his honor. The building of the column commenced in 1835. In 1832 he became the first winner of the Royal Geographical Society Founders Medal, for important services in determining the course and termination of the Niger. To mark the 200th anniversary of the birth of Richard Lander and celebrate the Lander brothers' remarkable achievements an expedition of goodwill was sent in November 2004 to retrace their historic river journey. Publications There has